Hello everyone. Okay. So welcome to week five. Um, we are approaching our halfway point when it comes to the semester already. Um, so we're going to be working on, um, well, media. So videos, sound, images, and also making some edits. Now, uh, I wanted to let you guys know that did have a few things that um, popped up, especially within the actual, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sorry, I have a sinus infection because of all the blooming plants around Sonoma County and Mendocino County. Uh, okay, so the textbook says for you guys to use um, Photoshop Elements. Um, I did download it here. I'm going to post a link online that will allow you to kind of download a free version for 30 days. Uh, Adobe then requires you to purchase it after that. It's expensive. There is freeware. There's a whole, there's a pixelr.com you can use. That's an online photo editing software. Let me just quickly show you how to resize it on Elements. If you're not familiar, you can go to file, save for web after you open your file, and then make sure it's on jpeg high for high resolution and then you can adjust it so if you know it's on landscape i would always make sure that the width is a little bit bigger than the height and this program will tell you what it is so i'll do 250 it's a little bigger than the thumbnail click save and then you can save it um, i'm going to do meerkat Three, and I took this photo when I went with my daughter to San Francisco Zoo. All right, and then I'm gonna go into brackets. <clears throat> now, as you see, I've already done some of the work for the other class. Okay, don't worry about the IDs or any of the um, header header tags. What we're gonna focus on today is the uh, anchor tags, the hrefs with the target which is blank so it goes to a new um, tab okay and then the image source which is actually a link so I'm as you see right here I'm using a picture that I pulled off the internet very handsome orange cat right there kinda looks like um, my cat here at the house we call him Balthazar or baby Bal. so we have that as the actual image itself and it's going to link to, if you haven't kind of seen already, it's going to link to Facebook, okay? And I added a title to it, so it's Handsome Cat. And then an alternate, Handsome Orange Cat, would be here. Now what an alternate does when it comes to um, videos and links or other um, media is if it doesn't load for whatever reason, it allows you to, um, for the viewer to see what should have been there. Okay, it's not just this is broken image that people go, what was that? Um, it also helps for anyone that is using, that is um, blind or cannot see, and the computer will tell them what it was. So I'm going to break the link here. I'm going to delete the H and resave it. I'm going to go back over here and I'll reload it. Now, if you see, guess what? Look at that. It says Handsome Orange Cat would be here. But does the link still work? Yes, it does. Takes me right to Facebook. Why we chose Facebook? It was just voted last night, or should I say tonight, <clears throat> in the other class on what we were going to do. Okay. So I'm going to reinstate the H. Okay. I'm going to resave. I'm going to reload, and look at that, the handsome orange cat is back, and the alternate is done. And there is, right there, where my mouse is, it says handsome cat. And then here's a tiger that we added in there. Image, we just imported it, style. Now, if you want to do inline style, all you have to do is, after you do the closing quotation marks, you do a space and you type in style equals and then the quotation with colon whatever the width is now if you know it's a landscape photo the width needs to be bigger than the height 
but if it's a portrait, it needs to be the opposite way. Height needs to be longer than the width. So watch this. We'll do a live demo quick. We'll do 350 and then 285. Okay, we're going to save that. We're going to reload it, and look at that. See, it just changed it. And it's exactly the same size as the other one. Now, if we wanted, we could also do this to the handsome cat. So <clears throat> let's actually do that, guys. Okay. So we're in here. And we get inside the image. Okay. And we do style equals. And then I'm going to width colon 350 px, which is pixels. Okay. And then we do a semicolon height. Okay. And then 285. 285. So it matches everything else. Pixels. <clears throat> and then we can put it in the spaces and make it look all pretty. Okay. And then save. Reload. Now look at this. Beautiful. I have a question for you. I want them in a row. So maybe we should do a paragraph. Okay. We're going to delete that one. And then we're going to put this down here at the closing paragraph. We're going to save it. We're going to reload it. Now I'm going to take this and I'm open it up. And look at that. Look how amazing that looks. Now, I know I see that my mirror cat's a little off. So let's adjust that. Let's go back into brackets. Thumbnail, mirror cat. Okay, well, let's re. Let's try this. Style equals. And I'm going to cheat because it is almost midnight. And I'm tired. Paste. There's a second one. We delete that. Save. Let's see if it works, guys. Okay. Look at that. And they're beautiful. Now, <clears throat> you're wondering, what in the world is this? Fluffy goes to India. Yeah. Yeah, I did post that. So, let's get back into brackets. So, iframe. On Canvas, I posted a few links for you guys to take a look at for assignment five. Okay. Iframes are for YouTube videos. So, what we did is we did iframe with 400 pixels times 330 pixels. Okay. And then the source, which is the URL. Now, when you go to YouTube, okay, I'm going to go to YouTube really quick. YouTube. Go in here. Okay, I want to show you guys something. What in the world? Okay, Kitchen Nightmares. No thanks. Ugh, ads. <clears throat> okay, let's do this. Lindsay Sterling. Okay. Um, if you don't know who Lindsay Sterling is, amazing violinist. I've seen her in concert a few times. Love her to death. Um, I highly recommend it. Uh, ads, 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 ads. I hate ads. So, I paused it. I'm going to take this. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go back into brackets. <clears throat> I'm going to do another iframe k okay. with equals 400 pixels height <clears throat> is 330 okay source <clears throat> Now, 
here's the key. You guys need to get rid of watch and embed forward slash delete and get rid of the V equals. Okay? Otherwise, it's not going to work. And you close it and you get the iframe. Okay, save. Let's test it. Let's get rid of this. Bam, there she is. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Okay, let's get to the assignment itself. All right, in Canvas, I've already posted assignment five. You need to use assignment two and four, okay, which your assignment four should have been a version of assignment two. So you can just take assignment four if you want. Okay, you need to add more images so you're at eight. Okay, you absolutely have to be at eight or I'm going to take points off. <clears throat> now, as I showed you, the inline CSS, you guys can do. I do not want an actual CSS file. I don't need that. Okay, you need to make each image a anchor hyper reference. Okay, you need to add target attributes to every single picture so the blank one so it goes to a new tab and you need to have alts in the event that it doesn't work i want to know what it was okay and the alts will work for it especially if it w is not web-based if it's a web-based one then the alts i'll have to mess with and see if it, if it works or not okay if you need to make changes you can make changes to whatever pictures and information you have there. Okay, this is the last time you're going to use assignment two and four. After this, we're going to start working on our midterm project. And you're going to start building a project that is going to be multiple pages, very in depth, lots of CSS, and we're going to be working on it for about three weeks. Okay, so you're going to have plenty of time. So, Let's get to Canvas really fast, so you guys can see assignment 5, okay, and there we go, bam, it's published already, and no external CSS, okay, at least not for sizing. Here's a link to Domi Elements, it's only 30 days free, keep that in mind, other than that, it's $20 a month for all Adobe products for students that are at Santa Rosa Junior College or any other college. No, I'm not pushing for you guys to purchase it. It's an option. You can always choose a different photo editing software if you have one. No big deal. If you want to make adjustments to your background color, you can. No hard colors, no neon, no crazy yellows or pinks. It's hard for me to see. Um, I am only 37, but nonetheless, when I stare at a computer all day long, it hurts my eyes when I see those. Make sure you add titles to all your pictures, so when you do your mouse rollover, it tells me what it is. Okay. Um, I did put two YouTube videos on how to resize it in Photo El Photoshop Elements and increase resolution and a few other features on Photoshop Elements. It is not for like Pixel R or anything like that. It's only for Photoshop because that's what our textbook has you guys use. Okay. If you have any questions. Shoot me an email or use a chat feature if I'm online during my office hours. I try to be online between 11 and noon um, unless something happens and things happen a lot with my normal day every day job. All right, guys. Have a nice evening. Um, thanks for listening. Good luck. Get your homework done. Get them in on time, please.